Star Wars action figure fans and collectors, we're looking at the Galaxy Adventure Stormtrooper. This one brought to me thanks, with a big thanks to goodiestoys.com.au. Andy had the hookup, and uh, yeah, I haven't seen anyone else in Australia get these yet, so I had to jump on it. Had to. <laughs> Um, so yeah, selling these as a two-pack with the Mandalorian, I'll be looking at the Mandalorian next, but for this video we'll be looking at the Stormtrooper, and uh, it's pretty damn cool, honestly. Let's see if we can get the camera angle. There we go, that looks a bit nicer. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a really nice figure, it's really nicely sculpted, I love the sort of animated style. I think it looks great, really, really happy with this line. I recently got the uh, Jedi Knight Luke. Um, which is fantastic as well. I've reviewed that one. And, uh, yeah, these, these figures have been quite good. Um, given that we can't get Disney toy box ones in Australia, um, had to ship them from overseas or buy them while I was over there. Um, so yeah, I don't get many of those just from the occasional retailer that does pick, pick a couple up every now and then. So yeah, I mean, they don't put a lot of them out. So, um, yeah, I'm still hoping... Still hoping to get a hold of that Darth Maul. That's one I've missed. I'd love to get a hold of that one. But yeah, it comes with a nicely sculpted E11, which looks quite good. I'm digging that. Again, the helmet sort of sculpt is, you know, it's it's almost a cross between like Clone Wars style when we saw the Stormtroopers at the end of season seven and uh, a little bit of Rebels, just in the sort of shape. But I think they've found a nice in-between uh, for this animation style. I think it comes across really nicely. But yeah, really nicely sculpted, really nicely painted. You know, given that it's all white and black. But, you know, the, the lenses on the mask, on the helmet, have the ever so slight tinge of green. And you might be able to see that. I'm only just seeing it now for the first time, so... My camera hopefully will pick that up. Ever so slight tinge of green. And the uh, blue lines there on the side of the um, filters are, you know, really nicely applied. So as always with the uh, Galaxy of Adventures, they've got a little gimmick. And, uh, yeah, I think this just flicky arms. I think that's all it is. Nothing too exciting. I can't work out why. Um, but yeah, it doesn't hinder the articulation, just got to sort of give it those sort of clicks to just to move them where you want it, if you need to move it back. For whatever reason. <laughs> um, but yeah, they don't need to have their little gimmicks with these figures. I think these are cool on their own, the way they are. You know, good articulation, you know, not quite the same level as Black Series or Vintage Collection. Uh, just swivel wrists, no swivels at the thighs. And, uh, but still pretty good, um, you know, good, good neck movement and stuff like that. So yeah, just, just cool animated style figures. I really like them a lot. I hope they sort of continue doing, you know, I don't want too many of them, but, um, you know, it's not, a, it's not another line that I want to collect. It's just every now and then just drop a couple of characters. I think that would be fantastic. Just every now and then just a couple of year, that'd be fine. Um. But yeah, I don't sort of have a shelf for them. I sort of spot them around the room. You know, I've got Boba Fett on my Fett shelf, Vader on my Vader shelf, and just other sort of sporadically placed without within my Star Wars room here. So yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Just drop them in the comments below. You digging digging these figures, the Galaxy of Adventures. You know, they're they're well priced, affordable. There's you know, still a lot of Rise of Skywalker ones that haven't moved. <laughs> they're still swinging on the pegs. Um, but at least there's, at least they're on the pegs. More than I can say about some of the other lines. Um, yeah, drop a comment down below. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this review. And uh, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the Mandalorian because he's up next and that is, you're not going to want to miss that one. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Drop a, drop a line in the comments and uh, check out the description for the links to my social media and stuff. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you always.